Hey guys, it's Rachel Youngson here from WholeFoodPLR.com and UsePLR.com. I wanted to go over something really quick with you guys today. It's called uh, Pretty Links. It, this really has nothing to do with PLR. Uh, this is just another tool that I use in my business and I was thinking it would really help you in your business as well. They have a free version and that's what I used for over a year so you can do more than you need to do with the free version. Um, there's no real need to uh, to pay for it until you're sure that that's what you want to do. I've put in easily 25 to 50 links with the free version without any issues. So um, anyway though, this is Pretty Links. Uh, as you can see, it has a beautiful little star at the top of the screen. I just, I love it. I think it's so gorgeous, but it's a girl thing. So here's the question that you may be asking. Why do you want uh, something like Pretty Links? Well, it's a link cloaker so that when someone sees it in writing, it's it makes the link more um, makes the link more presentable. It can make the link attached to you. It can make you uh, look more like an authority figure because you don't have this big jumbled link with your affiliate ID in it. Rather, you have your website name slash whatever you name your pretty link, and that takes you anywhere. But I always thought that link cloaking was something that was more for uh, just to hide an affiliate ID, which don't get me wrong, that's, that's a great thing to do, but it's it's actually bigger than that, and I'm going to show you why. And it happened to me just today, and I thought, well, hey, I should go ahead and make a tutorial on it since I have to do it. So, first of all, um, one thing about Pretty Links that I want you to to see is you can use this nice little search feature here. Uh, if you name your links correctly, you can use this to do pretty much pretty much anything. So, like um, as you can see, I have a strategy to the way that I that I name all of my links. So, for instance, if it's a PLR link, it says PLR, and then it has the listing of the uh, site that the PLR is is uh, housed on. So this is, for instance, this is JVZoo, and then I have the PLR seller's name. Um, so this is. Uh, the sellers, or this this is uh, two sellers here, and then this is their website, and this is the actual PLR title. And I do it this way for a reason. Like you can see down here, I have this is a blog post. I have not PLR, so that I don't get it confused. Um, this is housed on my own website, use PLR. Um, and this is the blog post title, and this is everything that's listed in the blog post. I do this because let's say that I want to talk to people about PicMonkey. Well, then I will just go up here. You know, if I have 100, 200 uh, things over here, then it can get a little bit uh, confusing and even hard to find all of the PicMonkey uh, links. But I can go here to the search, and you can type in, um, it, it pulls up anything. It'll even pull up, I believe, like half of a word, and it'll still find it. There it is. See, and that's really, that's really great because, um, like, if you... If you don't remember everything, or you know that, let's say you bought something from Alice Seba, you don't remember her last name, but you know her first name is Alice, um, and you did a pretty link for it, you can just type in Alice and you can find it that way. You know, it's it's really uh, it's nice that you can do it this way. So this brings up everything with PicMonkey in it. So now I know. Okay, well, if I want to do something specific to PicMonkey, well, then I have this. Uh, this link here, which is just about PicMonkey, and oh, I also created this blog post over here that also has PicMonkey in it. So, you know, this will help me a lot if I'm trying to do a resource page or anything else on my site. You know, I have everything here in one spot. But what happened to me today was I have these newsletters that I create, um, or I'm sorry, emails that I create, and what I wanted to do. Um, I want to start adding my uh, email feed to my Facebook page every day so that folks know, um, oh, hey, she's she's done a new email. It's just another way to promote the email um, and get it out there. So I had one email list that I was emailing to on this feed uh, back in October 2016. But then I switched over and started using another list. I didn't realize that when you broadcast through another list, um, it doesn't store in all of those archives for every email list. I didn't realize it only stores in the archive for the list that you um, have as your quote-unquote main mailing list. 
so all of those sublists don't have it listed. So like in here, you can see it looks like the last time I emailed my folks was in October, and that's obviously not the case. I harass you guys almost every day. So um, so what I wanted to do was switch this, switch the links because you know rather than um, if I if I didn't have a pretty link, if I just had a regular link and I had been spreading that link on my Facebook page and maybe on my Pinterest and anywhere else, could you imagine what a big headache that would be if I wanted to now switch those links? If I went, Or if I went back and I realized, oh my gosh, people who are following this link think that I haven't made an email since October, but I really have two more months of emails that now these people who see the, the old links aren't going to see. I mean, that would be a real headache. Um, the same thing for uh, websites where they're, maybe they're running a special and you're linking to the special and the special ends or the link breaks, you know, on, on their side, well, what are you going to do now? I mean, you're linking people to that page. And so technically that broken link, is still going to kind of come back to you in a way, even though you have no responsibility for it. So the easiest way to handle that is to have a pretty link set up because then if you know, oh, hey, this person is no longer running this special, you can change the address of the pretty link and now send traffic over to your own special or a page that says, hey, sorry, this, this link is no longer valid. Here's a coupon for my my site. You know, something like that. It's it's so much easier. It saves you so much time and so much headache. I can't even tell you. Um, it's much easier to go through your links, you know, like once a month or once every few months and make sure that everything is, is up to date with these pretty links than it is to have hundreds of links out there and not have any control over uh, where those links are actually going. So anyway, so what I did today was I went ahead and I already changed this over, but I'm going to change it back so you guys can see what I did. Um, so now let's say that this is, this is where my link is currently going. So I go over back over to my pretty link um, and I know that part of the this pretty link is use PLR news so I just typed in news and here I'm able to find it so I go into edit and as you can see my target URL is the URL that uh, the link actually goes to the pretty link I get to name it whatever I want so this is the website that I have it housed on and then this is my pretty link and then, um, as I mentioned before, my title, I always code my titles. So here, um, the first thing I see is an email. So I automatically know, oh, okay, well, this is a link that I used in an email as opposed to a blog or a PLR promotion. This is the name of the title. Um, this is where it's housed, use PLR. And then I have a little note here for myself. Um, but I, I'm not sure if I'm going to, I might change my strategy on this little note here, but Anyway, um, so I am going to go back here and show you where this link is currently going. So currently, if you copy this link and you paste it over here, oh, well, that's not really great. So my, uh, huh. That's not awesome. Oh, I know why I did that. I'm having some issues with JVZoo as in my um, uh, Chrome browser. I need to change it. I need to fix it. It works in my Internet Explorer. But here's the thing. I'm way too lazy to change it right now. I've got, like, too much on my plate. Maybe someday. So anyway, we'll paste and go. All right, so currently you're going to see the whole free PLR December 2016 email. Well, let's say I don't want that. I want you guys to see the uh, other uh, list that I had previously been sending to where uh, it ended in October. And again, that's not my ultimate. Ultimately, I'm going to switch it to this December, but for purposes of showing you guys how I'm doing this, I, I'm, I already switched it, so I'm going to switch it back so you can now see. So um, I go over here. And as you can see, this is a different, a different uh, email list. This is Rachel Young PLR, which is a super old um, uh, list that I started way back in what, 2012. So if I wanted to do something back here, I'd copy this. I'd go to this, back to this pretty link. 
and then I would highlight, paste this in the place of the other. I'm going to keep the link itself the same because that way anywhere that the link currently is, it's going to still stay active. You know, if you change this and you have it like, let's say, on Pinterest, um, well, that's no longer going to go here <laughs> because you've changed this. So now that link is going to um, become inactive because according to this site, this link is no longer alive if you change this, this right here. So I'll leave this here and we will update. And then we will go back to, I'll just type in news. I'll copy this. All right, and we will go here. Now remember, if this works correctly, we want it to show the October newsletter from Rachel Young PLR. And there it is. Now, that's not actually what I want to do. I want it to be December, so I'm going to close that out. I will go over to the correct Whole Food December email. I'll copy that. I will edit this. Highlight, paste, update. Now I have to find it again. I can even just type in new and it'll pull it up. Oh, somewhere. There we go. Use PLR news. So highlight, copy, come over here, and if it worked, it'll go to the December newsletter. And there it is. So now, as you can see, the link has been adjusted. And anywhere that I've had that previous link stored um, that went over to the October 2016 as being the last email update, that's all now changed. So everyone now sees these other two months of emails that I've been sending out. So that's it. That's that's free links. Uh, like I said, there's, an, there's a paid version and a free version, but quite honestly, a uh, paid version is really over my head <laughs> for a lot of things. And I've been able to do a lot with just the free version. And I used it for over a year without any issues. So I love it. It's like one of my favorite tools. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.